Hello, my friends. Welcome to 30 Albums for 30 Years. I am your host, Jay Sweet. Today, we will be evaluating the album, The Mamas and the Papas. If you can believe your eyes and ears on Dunhill Records, recorded October through November of 1965, released February 28th, 1966. Let's get into it. The Mamas and the Papas, a folk rock sensation reigning from 1965 to 1968. The group was comprised of John Phillips, Michelle Phillips, Cass Elliott, and Denny Darty. John Phillips, the group's leader and primary songwriter arranger, initially tasted success with his folk trio, The Journeymen, in 1960. Michelle Phillips, hailing from Long Beach, California, met and married John while working as a model in San Francisco. She then began singing with John, showcasing her soprano voice and, of course, her striking beauty. Cass Elliott, also known as Mama Cass, was born Ellen Cohen in Baltimore, and she developed a passion for the stage and ventured into musical theater. After losing her role in a production of The Music Man to none other than Barbara Streisand, In 1962, she became a prominent figure in the folk music scene, initially with the group The Big Three, and later with the Mugwumps. Physically, Cass Elliott was a larger woman, and the polar opposite of Michelle Phillips in terms of society's definition of traditional beauty. And Denny Darty, the fourth member, born in Nova Scotia, Canada, began recording in 1960 with the folk group The Colonials, which later became known as Halifax Three. After a brief stint with the new journeyman, he joined forces with Cass Elliott in forming The Mamas and the Papas. Musically, the Mamas and the Papas left an incredible mark on popular music, boasting 17 charting singles and selling 40 million records. The group's genesis occurred when the Phillipses, formerly of the New Journeymen, joined forces with Doherty and Elliot from the Mugwumps. The group merged, and they began rehearsing in the Virgin Islands, solidifying their signature sound, and eventually signed with Lou Adler, and Dunhill Records. In doing so, they committed to producing two albums annually, earning 5% on 90% of all retail sales. Their debut single, Go Where You Want to Go, made little impact, but California Dreamin', which followed, peaked at number four in the US, setting the stage for their chart-topping debut album, the album we are discussing today, if you can believe your eyes and ears. Now, as the story of the Mamas and the Papas unfolds, you will not only learn of their monumental music, but of one of the most dysfunctional musical families in popular music history. All right, so a lot happens with the Mamas and the Papas following the release. The Mamas and the Papas experience both commercial success and internal struggles, fueled by artistic differences and, again, personal relationships, which led to their disbandment in 1968. Now, after the breakup, John Phillips pursues a solo career, and he did briefly reunite with the group in the 1980s. Michelle Phillips, who is the only surviving original member right now, transitions to acting and later became a television producer. John and Michelle remained married until 1969, and after divorcing, Michelle quickly married actor Dennis Hopper. This marriage lasted only eight days. John and Michelle had one daughter, China Phillips, who became a member of the pop group Wilson Phillips. That group was popular in the late 1980s and early 1990s. 
John's daughter from his first marriage, Mackenzie Phillips, was a television actor who struggled with addiction and has made some troubling accusations regarding John. Another daughter from John's third wife, Bijou Phillips, is and was a noted actress known for her wild lifestyle. And after an affair with Sean Lennon, John Lennon's son, she married Danny Masterson in 2011. You may know him from that 70s show. Now, Masterson is currently serving a 30-year sentence for rape charges, and they divorced uh, in 2023. Denny Doherty continued in the music industry as a solo artist and remained involved in theater and television. Now, tragically, Cass Elliott passed away very young uh, at the age of 32 in 1974. Despite internal struggles, the Mamas and the Papas, again, impacted the 1960s music scene. They just couldn't get along, really. Um, but their influence, again, on the California sound is, uh, is very important to the trajectory of pop music. And there you have it. That's the story of the Mamas and the Papas. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you subscribe and continue to listen. Go to 30 albums for 30 years.com for more information. The show is building, it's growing, and I want to thank you for that. Also, check out my other podcast, also growing tremendously. It's called The Jazz Real Book. I think you'll enjoy that one as well. So, together, let's keep this wonderful music alive. I will speak to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Peace.